Hi, Assalamualaikum and good morning to our lecturer. So, we are from group 8, section 10. And this presentation video basically is about the DIY experiment of the heat transfer conducted by our group members. Okay, let's start with the introduction. Assalamualaikum, Doctor. My name is Siti Nuriana Binti Jamil. My number matrix is AD200128. AD so, for my part, I'm going to talk about the heat transfer mechanism. Methods of a heat transfer. There are three methods that facilitate heat transfer. These methods are known as conduction, convection, and radiation. So, first is on conduction. What is conduction? What is a conduction? Conduction is a heat transfer by means of molecular agitation within a material without any motion of the material as a whole. If one end of metal rod is at a higher temperature, then energy will be transferred down the rod toward the colder end. This is because the higher speed particles will collide with the slower ones, slower ones with a net transfer of energy to the slower ones. Next, convection. Convection is a heat transfer by mass motion of a fluid such as air or water when the heated fluid is caused to move away from the source of heat, carrying energy with it. Convection above a hot surface occurs because hot air expands, becomes less dense, and rises. Lastly, radiation. Radiation is a process which heat is transferred by movement of a heated fluid such as air or water. Heat transfer through radiation takes place in form of electromagnetic waves wave, mainly in the infrared region. Radiation emitted by a body is a consequence of thermal agitation of its composite molecules. Radiation heat transfer can be described by reference to the, to the black body. Heat transfer through conduction involves the transfer of heat between two materials from surface contact. No matter is exchanged between materials, only energy. This type of heat transfer occurs in solid materials and is caused by the vibrations of particles. Conversion also occurs in liquids and gases and describes the movement of heat from one location to another facilitated by the movement of fluids. When heated, fluids expand and become less dense. The hot fluid rises and displays the cold fluid located above it pushing it down towards a heat source. This cold fluid will become heated and rise upwards creating a constant flow of fluid from an area of high heat to low heat. As I mentioned before, radiation transfer heat using electromagnetic waves and does not involve any interaction between matter. For example, heat that comes from the sun. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Nabila binti Muhammad Namaruddin and my metric number is AD20032. And I will perform an experiment of conduction in heat transfer. So, let's go. As you can see in the video, I have everything ready to go. A clear container, two mugs to hold it, a mug of boiling water, red and blue food colouring and two syringe. Firstly, we are going to inject the two colour of food colouring which are red and blue. I inject red colour on the both end of the container while blue colour is in the middle of the container. Make sure the injected colour does not float in the water, then it needs to be injected slowly. The centre of the container will receive heat from the mug filled with boiling water. So now let's see the reaction that happens. For your information, the water temperature on both sides of the container is room temperature. From the observation, we can see that the blue colour start to rise because of the hot water transferring heat to the container through air and it becomes less than when it heat it. After a few minutes, we can see that the red color is slowly moved toward the hot water area and this is what happens in our atmosphere where the warm air rises. 
and the cool air tag. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I'm Siti Nur Aisha with metric AD200091. So, I am in charge to do the convection of heat transfer experiment. Okay, let's roll it. For this experiment, the materials needed are the candle, stainless steel ruler, nails or the flat head screws, and also the lighter. First thing first, we need to attach the nails to the ruler by melting the wax. Now, let's heat up the uh, ruler and see what happens and how much the duration takes for the nails to drop. <laughs> As we can see here, heat is first coming from the candle towards the first nail and melt the wax. So, it falls. Later, heat goes to the second nail and does the same thing. Okay, to conclude the experiment, this type of transfer of heat from one place to another in material is called conduction. As we can see, this experiment showing how steel conduct heat. It show how end of the uh, steel ruler got hot rather than the entire ruler heating up at an equal place. For the first nail, uh, it dropped at 25 seconds and uh, the second nail dropped at 57 seconds. Then followed by third nail drop at 2 minutes 30 seconds, the fourth drop at 5 minutes 43 seconds, and the last one drop at uh, 9 minutes 25 seconds. This result was based on where the candle was placed. Okay, let's say uh, if the candle was uh, placed in the middle of the ruler, so the heat will start in the middle and extend upward in either direction. Hi, my name is Liang Xiaoming, matrix number AD200192, and I will conduct a simple experiment about radiation. First of all, we need to prepare for our apparatus, which are two pieces of metal plates with same material, but one is in black color, a candle, and two nails. Now, we light up the candle and we place the plate with nails close to the candle so it can, they can absorb heat from the candle. We start the stopwatch and we record the time for the wax to melt and the nails drop from the blade. 
now we light up the candle and we place the plate with nails close to the now let us start our experiment first we need to light up the candle to melt it so we can put a few drops of wax on the plate and we stick the nails on both plates now let us start our experiment first we need to light up the candle to melt it so we can put a few drops of wax on the plate and we stick the nails on both plates now let us start our experiment first we need to light up the candle to melt it so we can put a few drops of wax on the plate and we stick the nails on both plates now let us start our experiment first we need to light up the after the experiment we found that the time taken for the nail on the black plate to drop is 11.98 seconds and the time taken for another plate to drop is 14.24 seconds the time difference is about 2.26 seconds we know that the rate of heat transfer by radiation can be calculated by the formula of q equals to sigma e a t power 4 the relationship between rate of heat transfer and emissivity is directly proportional since the other's variable is constant we can conclude that the black body has the greatest emissivity and also the greatest heat of support okay to conclude from this experiment the type of transfer of heat from one place to another in material is called conduction. As we can see, this experiment illustrates how steel conducts heat. It shows how end of the steel ruler got hot rather than the entire ruler heating up at an equal place. For the first nail is dropped at 25 seconds, then second nail dropped at 50, 57 seconds, then followed by third nail drop at 2 minutes 30 seconds fourth nail and last nail drop at 5 minutes 43 seconds and 9 minutes 35 seconds respectively this based on the where the candle was placed if the candle placed in the middle of the ruler the heart will start in the middle and extend upwards in either direction okay that's all from us. Thank you for watching.